this tutorial I'm going to show you how to load an image so first to create an image you want to go to any paint program I suggest paint.net is one of my favorites and this you want to be able to clear the background and I'll show you that in a minute once it loads now transparency will work with this it will create um, work with a transparent background so we're going to just create a little ball we're going to zoom up and I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to click this one I'm going to just drag a little this here now fill blue now I'm going to just save this to the desktop as ball there now I have ball on my desktop and as you can see I gave it a transparent background now to draw an image first we have to say um, we gotta create our image so b above our function I want to say var ball image equals image dot from file and then in parentheses and quotes ball dot png and that will load up this ball then we're going to say surface dot draw image ball image and an x and a y now as you can see it draws the ball right there I didn't tell you this in the last tutorial, but another thing you can do is you can, cl um, if we have a graphic and we want it to show a different graphic, let's say we create, let's create two timers. And let's have them both, one is going to be a thousand, or let's make them 1000, 1000, timer two. And this timer is not going to automatically start. And I'm going to create a switch sender.tag case um, timer1. Then if it's this first timer, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a graphics. But I'm going to draw the ball, and then I'm going to call surface dot clear this will clear the um, anything written or drawn so first you gotta type a color so if I type in color dot white it will clear the entire graphic to white well let's say I want to keep the color the same color as the um, form one's background to do that we say this dot back color and now it will clear it to the same color and then draw a ball and then break and then we're going to say and we're also going to tell it to start timer two dot start now I'm going to say case timer two bar surface dot surface equals this dot create graphics surface dot clear this dot back color surface dot draw rectangle or let's do fill rectangle brushes red zero zero a hundred a hundred a hundred a hundred a hundred um then break now let's run this timer two has not been declared because timer 2 is not global line for 45 dot fill I put an E after there oh, um, oh yeah we I want to make it where it stops itself and then the other one will timer1.start 
and timer two dot stop. So basically, only every second it will switch between which timer tick. As you can see, our images will switch off. Um, so we're doing two. We're drawing a graphic. We're clearing the screen and drawing a different graphic. So that's how. That's what clearing the screen is used for to draw um, graphics. Um, one thing I do want to warn you though is if you've ever ever done like um, OpenGL and you how you clear the screen every time to make a game that won't really work with the graphics class because it can't keep up with clearing the screen every single loop it'll cause a lot of flicker um, but this is how you want to do graphics um, so like I said clear is used for cleaning the screen and drawing image you create an image and you can get the image from file and then the coordinates so that's how you draw the image and clear the graphics